everybody. This is going to be a short video. As you know, we do a lot of Kubota videos when we're doing using our tractors or a zero turn or whatever. And we try to bring you the good, the bad, and the indifferent. No matter what we're doing with these pieces of equipment. Uh, I grew up operating heavy equipment. I had a career at operating equipment. And one of the first things they taught us when we were starting out was always do a walk around around your your piece of equipment. Check all your fluids before you even start it. Check your pins and bushings. Check to see if anything has fallen off the machine. Check for oil leaks. And also check your tires. And of course, old habits being hard to break, I did a walk around yesterday and I saw something that I wanted to bring to your attention. This tractor here is a Kubota 5740. It was purchased brand new in 2011. It's got 240 hours on it. It's never, ever been left out in the sun. It's never been left out in a storm. It's always been stored inside. As you can see, the paint is not even faded. But I found a potential hazard, safety hazard, and it's all in the front tires. So if my lovely assistant Kathy would move closer, I would show you exactly what I found. Moving closer. And here you go, guys. This is dry rot on these Carlisle tires. Very, very, very dangerous because this is equipped with a loader and with that loader it can lift a humongous amount of weight and if you have a blowout, you, have, you run the risk of actually tipping over the tractor and potentially causing seriously serious injury or death as they say. And uh, this is something that got to be replaced on this tractor. Just look right above the F there and the chief, how bad it is there, it's splitting its Oh, it's gone. Look, it's actually starting to yeah, crack up this way. Look, crack this way. Mm -hmm. So it's dry rot. What caused it? I have no idea. It, the thing has never been out in the sun. It's never been out in a storm. As you can see, it's not even faded. Look at the shine on it. Yeah, this is... Stored inside. As tractors go, this has probably got the best home other than one that's parked on a showroom floor. Yeah. And let's go over and look at the other side. The dry rot is so bad on this side that it's actually starting to split the tire. Oh my gosh, look at that. You see that? Yeah. See? Like I'm not, I know I'm not much, but I'm all you got. <laughs> you don't want me flipping this thing over. No, I don't want that. Now let's go have a look at the back tires. The back tires made by Firestone. No crazing or cracking whatsoever just like a brand new tire. I mean, look at the wear. Yeah, right. There's no wear on. No. Look, you can even see, look, the little flaps of rubber look from when it was manufactured. Oh. So let's have a look at the other tire. Here's the other back tire. No cracks, no crazing anywhere. No, it's perfect too. Yeah, so folks, this is serious stuff. So let's, uh, let's see what we can find out about these tires. Now folks, I might add, this don't only apply to Kubota. This applies to anything that got a tire. It could be a Cat, a John Deere, a Mahindra. It could be uh, anything at all. It, uh, just make sure you check. If you have a piece of equipment, make sure you check those tires because it's imperative that you have good rubber under your bucket. So let's make sure you, you do that and you keep it safe. Okay, we made two phone calls. One phone call was to the dealer, our friendly Kubota dealership. Who we've, shock. who we've dealt with since 2008. Kubota, tire only. Our cost, $421 plus tax. But if you want to buy the whole complete wheel and tire, that's only going to cost you $350. Super deal for a tire that's only going to last you another four years. That's right. Right? So, we called a, a tire distributor here in the local area. They sell a Primax Boss Grip, which looks identical to that, but it's got some other features on it that, I don't know, anti-cut and anti-this. And oh, yeah. So Great. anyway, they want $200 per tire, which is what I would consider reasonable. But the most important thing of this video is keep checking your equipment. Make sure that it's safe because that there can kill you, seriously. 
just picture that with a load of this stuff up in the air and you're going towards your trailer or your little truck and that tire, the side comes out of that tire, you're gone over. So be very, very vigilant when it comes to checking your equipment and make sure those tires aren't cracked or crazed. I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all your emails and questions and whatnot. We try to answer as many as we can, but we thought this was important enough to bring it to your attention. So you guys have a nice day. Take care.